So one of the great things about the experience of this house is just the feelings, and you can tell that Frank Lloyd Wright is communicating through the design of the house and trying to impart feelings and to kind of guide uh, people um, into the integration of inside with the outside. Okay, here we are in front of Falling Water uh, and Bear Run Creek. And the tour guide told us several things that in, were foremost in Frank Lloyd's right during the organization and, archi and design. And he wanted to have organic architecture that worked to bring out the highlights of this area. He wanted to contemplate the needs of the family and he wanted to make sure that he integrated indoors and outdoors. And one of the things that was really remarkable is the cantilever design, which took away a lot of the internal load-bearing walls so that the spaces were very open. Very important in walking through here, uh, you get a lot of feelings. You get compression and release as you go down through narrow hallways, and then you come out into the big open community rooms, and the hearth was kind of a main focus area for the family, so there was a lot of humanness built into the architecture. So what did you think of Falling Water, Charles? Well, it was great. We had a tour guide named Emily, and she visited here when she was a little girl. And at that time, she always wanted to come back. And they pointed out the fundamentals of the architecture. So I took some notes. And I think it's very impressive. I was pleasantly surprised by the feeling of the integration of nature and the personal spaces. Did you think the bedrooms were a little small? Yeah, the bedrooms were very small and that was done for a purpose. They were trying to encourage people to, to go outside and the windows and the light kept drawing people's views in towards the outdoors. Well now we're going to go down and look back at the house.